Hi buddies, welcome to this new tutorial. Today we will see how to write a good discussion or conclusion section. In our previous video, we talked about how to write a good results section. Please find the link in the description. Today we will mainly focus on the modal verbs, which is the main language area needed in the discussion or conclusion section. The importance of modal verbs for this section lies in their ability to modify the truth value of a sentence. So they are particularly useful for this section. The modal verbs commonly used in science writing are may, might, could, can, should, need to, have to, and must. Let's illustrate how it works through this example. But before doing that, let's recall that four components are also needed in the conclusion section. So, we will see again here how the authors manage to integrate these components into their conclusion section. In the first component, you should revisit the previous sections, then summarize the key results. Subsequently, you should show how your results relate to the existing research in the third component, you should highlight your contribution and refine the implications. Finally, you should give the limitations of your work, and you should also provide some perspectives and applications of your research. Then, to sum up, this is what you should do and should not do in the conclusion section. You should be as concise as possible and you should focus on the key results of your research. On the contrary, it's not a good practice to write unnecessary information. Also, you should avoid expressions like in summary, in conclusion, etc. Well, that's all for the conclusion part. Oops! Don't you think you are forgetting a critical section here? That's it. In our next video, we will see how to write a successful abstract. Well, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.